Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I want to show you five tricks for working with plugins in Reaper. So the first one is to show the effects button on every item. If we look in preferences for appearance and media, we have these media item buttons. We need to check this option for no effects. Once we show this button, we can left click it to bring up the effects browser and the effects chain for this item or we could right click it and we can have instant access to our quick menu. Any folder that we set up for organizing our plugins is shown here as well as any effects chains that we want. So for example, I can put on a delay and this plugin is just on this one item. And to remove it, we can quickly alt click it and it's gone moving effects from items to tracks and from tracks to items. So I've got this EQ here on the hi-hat track. I can click and drag it onto another item. And now this is EQ'd just on this one item out of the entire track. And if I don't want that there, I can hold down Alt and drag it to a different item. And it'll move that from here to here. And if I don't want it, on this item, I can move it right to the track. And now it's on the track and it, you're hearing it on every item. So that was drag and drop to copy the effect and alt drag to move it, whether it's to another item or to the track. The next tip is an action that you can assign to a MIDI controller. So if we open up our EQ for this track and I tweak one of these parameters, let's say gain on band three, we can assign that to a MIDI controller like this. So now I'm moving my MIDI controller and it's changing the gain and I can click on frequency and I can sweep the frequency back and forth. And I can do this for any parameter in any plugin. So let's look at the action list for that. And I'll just move my controller, adjust last touched effects parameter, MIDI CC slash OSC only. So if you've got a MIDI controller in front of you, like the majority of home studio and project studio owners goes unused for a lot of your mixing work, put it to good use, assign this one thing, get a little more hands-on with your mixing. The next thing I want to show you is a quick way to show your track envelope for a particular parameter. So if I'm moving this frequency control for band three, I just click here, hit my button, and now I've got my envelope in the track. And what I'm pressing there is the minus key on my keyboard, which I have assigned to effects show hide track envelope for last touched effects parameter. And this is a quick way of accessing this option here, show track envelope. So if I click band four, change the frequency, click this, show track envelope. That's a little slow. Instead, I can click back to the arrange view and then click the button on my keyboard and I've got that effects envelope there. So one more trick in the effects window. If we like the sound of a constantly sweeping EQ, we can go to param menu here and parameter modulation here. And in this window, we have options to control this parameter based on an external source. So it will dynamically adjust based on the level of the audio coming into it. We could also assign it to an LFO, so it's constantly moving. And we can also link it to a different parameter. You can link it from another parameter on the same plugin, such as band to frequency. We can offset it by a bit, we can scale it, and we can set the level here. So anytime I move band two, change the frequency, band three will move linking LFO and audio control signal. Great stuff. This is available for every single plugin, every single parameter, both on track effects and item effects. And you're not gonna find that in any other program. And that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been five tips for working with plugins in Reaper. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more videos.